I draw a box around the ball about uh, four inches before and, and, and after the ball and just try to hit that box instead of, instead of trying to focus on just behind the ball or, or, or two inches behind it. Just um, make sure you hit sand first and, and, and make it roll like a pup. Um, I would say turn the club face in a little bit. Don't be afraid to do that and, uh, and just make a normal swing. And if you, make, if you just match the path in the, in the swing direction, the ball is gonna, gonna start right and, and, and you'll hit a, a nice little draw. Um, again, swinging it easy um, always helps. You know, if, if I'm, my miss would be a slicer, it would be a, a slight miss to the right. And I just, if I just calm down my tempo, make sure the club gets in the right positions, so I don't get ahead of myself. Um, that fixes everything. Best green reading tip, um, I take myself, I take a point about two feet in front of the hole where I think the ball needs to roll over or pass through to have a chance to go in the hole and uh, I'll just focus on that point and then where it's going to enter and it's, uh, it's called the quiet eye. So it's more of a intuition based uh, process if you want to call it. Um, never give up. I know it sounds cheesy, but um, I love match play because because it's it's very personal. You can make it very personal. You can't, yeah, you can't you can't give holes away because that just gives instead of you know obviously you, you give somebody a hole, but it gives it gives a bit more. It gives them energy, it gives them positive vibes, and, and you don't want that. I mean, if 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 somebody wins a hole, that's fine, but you don't don't give them away. Been a, it's been a while, but uh, you know the next one will be better. No, because uh, Shanks is almost a per perfect shot. They say so. You, I mean, you were right there. You were right there. Um, I would say look at, at the back of the cup and, and just and just hit that point. You'll uh, you won't you won't be um, so focused on the break or, or the speed and just try and focus on a really tiny spot and just hit that spot. Uh, ball position, I think. Uh, it's a big one, I think. I see a lot of amateurs with a, a driver, you know, middle, almost back. You, you, have, you have no time and, and no space to get to the ball, whereas if you put it up front, you, you've got a lot of time to let the club hit the ball. Again, turn the club face in a little bit. Uh, and it makes, it, it makes sure, same if, if you're in a waste bunker or something, I do this as well, it makes sure you get ball first and then um, you know, good, good, good contact is always always better. Again, solid contact. It's all about the ball striking, the the strike, and the and the ball flight with with your wedges. So um, again, I do this all the time. Just turn my club face in just a little bit, um, and it scares you at first, but uh, it'll it'll work, and the ball will start on a straighter line a lot more. Practice, make practice structured. Um, make sure you got plenty of drills, so you don't don't just stand there um, and beat balls without a purpose. Um, I've learned that in the, in the past couple of years. I used to just beat balls for hours, and uh, now I do less practice, but more purposeful and and and, and structured, and it helps me a lot. <laughs>